until this point, we've been using a tool called Google Postman to use our, to make our REST API calls. Um, but you might want be wondering if there are any other sorts of tools that might be able to do the same thing. Uh, and in fact, there are. Uh, you might not have known it, but the APIC GUI itself can also act as a REST API client. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly create a tenant, and uh, then we're going to we're going to download the configuration for that tenant, uh, bring it into a text editor, make some changes, and then actually post it back to APIC, and we'll actually see that happen. So I'm going to very quickly create a new tenant, and I'll just call it Hacker, uh, and I'll say Submit. So I've got my new tenant Hacker here. Uh, there's no real no real configuration here. If I click on it and I go into Policy, you see there's nothing. So I'm going to add a description later on. But let's say I've configured Tenant Hacker with all of the exact configurations perfectly the way I want it, with endpoint groups and contracts and all of the things that I want, and I've you know I can use it now as a template. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and say Save As. Now the trick here is you will select only configuration, subtree, and then pick your format, XML or JSON. So I'll, I'll pick JSON. And I'll go ahead and say Download. And that's now downloaded. Open up your favorite text editor. And we'll uh, take a look at what that JSON looks like. Now it's all one big string. So in uh, Text Wrangler, I actually have a little filter uh, called Tidy JSON that actually makes it look a little bit easier to read. Um, so you can see here's the sum total of my tenant hacker. I haven't done any configurations, so there's not a lot here. If I had done EPGs and all of that stuff, you'd see a whole lot more information. But let's say I want to um, add a description here. So I'll type something out. So I added a description, and I'll go ahead and save that file as tnhacker.json. We'll go back to APIC. Um, and if I right-click now, and I say post, right? It's asking me uh, what's the parent DN, and it's I'm actually in this case modifying hacker. And then I'll go ahead and browse for the file. There it is, TN hacker. And if I say post, there's my description there. Okay, a very simple and trivial example, but this could work for anything that lives under the tenants from bridge domains, VRFs, L3 outs, contracts, EPGs. You get the point. Uh, but it's kind of nice that uh, you can very quickly do that right through the APIC GUI without having to have any kind of special tools.